For a time, the humans of Sera knew the illusion of peace. Until... Emergence Day. Gears of War is one of gaming's most iconic franchises. Its entries are some of the best shooters ever made, receiving numerous awards and much critical acclaim. It is most recognized for its intense action, outstanding graphics, unrelenting brutality, and, of course, its revolutionary cover-based gameplay. However, there are far more elements that make this series so great. The grandiose memorable campaigns, a dark alternative future, a corrupt and questionable military, and compelling characters, which are brilliantly brought to life through spectacular writing and voice acting, aspects of the series that are often overshadowed by its gameplay and visuals. What do you think? What do I think? It could be Alpha, or it could be the Locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know for sure. Now that it's 2019 and Gears of War 5 is expected to be released this year, it feels like a fitting time to look back and delve deeper into what gives this franchise so much personality. I'm putting it scientifically? We need to blow his brains out of his ass! Welcome to Delta Squad. Where are we going? Gaming has evolved to match the production values of blockbuster Hollywood films, and back in 2006, Gears was at the forefront of this progression. Intense action blended with an engrossing story through the development of characters and relationships. Whether you were in the middle of a gunfight, escaping from certain death, taking in the view, or seeing the hardships of war, the soldiers of the COG expressed themselves in a raw and relatable fashion. I'm detecting seismic activity inside the house. There might be locust tunnels inside. Uh, copy that, Anya. We are aware. The strings that tied everything together and pulled you through each act were lines of humor, grit, and emotion. Bits of story and character were sprinkled in the midst of bullet barrages and explosions, often emulating your feelings as you played. The characters of Delta Squad felt real as they engaged in playful banter or voiced their frustrations with the brooding conflict. Anybody else's bullshit detector just go off? Marcus, man, this shit sounds sketch. Needless to say, Marcus, Dom, Cole, and Baird are four very likable and dynamic characters thanks to the stellar performances of John DiMaggio, Carlos Ferro, Lester Spates, and Fred Tatasciore. Additionally though, supporting characters were given equal attention, and faces such as Dizzy, Anya Stroud, and Aaron Griffin remain fan favorites. People are all dead! We survived hammer strikes, the grubs, the whole damn war, and then you show up and I lose fucking everybody! You fucking cod bastards! We used to protect cock settlements. Now we're about to raid one. Is that ironic? Technically, no. <laughs> Raiding is what outsiders do. Until you two showed up. Now, pff, boring. Better bored than dead, old man. There's a difference. Acting is an art form demanding creativity and immense talent. And voice acting is no exception. Portraying yourself onto a separate individual with a different face and personality from your own presents its own challenges, and the actor is required to mentally assume the role of another being. However, characters in Gears showcase a range of emotions rather than being stale one or two sided figures. To jump from being comical to frustrated to concerned in a natural manner is an intricate task that is impressively carried out by these able actors. Am I the only one who can feel the crosshairs just about here? I saw movement. Top of the barricade. Stay sharp. Hello? Anyone home? Knock, knock. We're just passing through. We just need a hand to get back to our shit! <laughs> so much more diplomacy. Yeah, what else do you expect from these stranded shits? Let's get this over with. Hey! Those aren't stranded. They're locusts. Oh, great. Look who's back in town. Well, we did flood them out their tunnels. And let's not forget about the Locust, the menacing enemy faction of humanity. With their demonic voices and ruthless personas, it is remarkable how well they were brought to life by the people behind them. Incoming. Ominids. Human. What you have stolen? Not human. 
kill humans. Shoot humans. Shoot humans. Yo, Dom, don't touch that shit. You could get rust lung off that or something. I don't know, man. It, it looks infected. Yeah. Good call. Let me get this shit straight. The regular locusts are fighting the glowing locusts? I thought they were all on the same side. I was wondering why we were doing so well. Gears will mostly be remembered for its action, gameplay, and having a chainsaw on the end of a rifle. However, it is much more than a bullet-infested bloodbath, although it does that quite well. It tells a deep story in a dark fictional realm filled with extraordinary characters. Personally, I am fond of my memories with the series and grateful for its creation and my opportunities to experience it. It played a major part in my youth as I've completed the campaigns of the first and second games at least five times each. With the exception of Judgment, it has grown to be my favorite gaming franchise of all time, at least for now. Help me move some of this ammo before the goddamn grubs come back! With that said, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy some standout examples of the talent presented by the cast of Gears of War. Yeah, that was beautiful, baby. State your name, soldier. Private Augustus Cole, Alpha Squad, sir. Cole? As in the Cole train? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Hey, Carmine, you all right? You're awfully quiet. Someone's gotta be, with Bear yapping all the time. Oh, I could gag him if you like. <laughs> Be my trait. Ah, uh, remind me why we thought Hanover was a good place to look for supplies. Baby, you gotta trust the cold train to find the goods. This is my turf, Cougar's territory. Yeah, cause that's gonna count for a lot right now. Are you okay, Cole? Ah, the train still got the moves, baby. Now, that was a move I first used against the Eagles in the national finals. Of course, <laughs> them bitches didn't explode. Yeah, you still got it. Now let's go sweet talk the queen of the bums. Keep that thing away from the power lines! No problem! <laughs> Watch this. Hey, stupid! You want some of this? Come and get me! Get out of there! Go, 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 go! Are you totally insane? Control, this is Delta. Cancel Mayday. We've regrouped with Cole. Baird and Sigma are MIA. We're assisting on the search. Regroup? Is that what you call it when I saved your ass? Delta. We have additional squads moving in to secure Lima. Roger, Control. We'll keep you posted. Delta out. <laughs> Regroup. That's a good one. Good thing you got your star player back, Delta. <laughs> Welcome back, Coltrane. Hey, a pet shop! <laughs> hey, burn up. That one's cute. <laughs> yeah, I can do tricks too, like blowing up in your face. So they back. <laughs> really back. Uh, I kind of missed them in a weird, messed up sort of way. I know what you mean. Copy that. Well, we sure as shit can't stay here. You're Baird. Yeah, that's right, asshole. Question is, who are you? Yeah, but we have to get past that first. My unique charisma should do the trick. Uh, yeah, I'll have to lend you some of mine. Anyone got a pump? And some duct tape? I hate those chompers. Little creeps can't leave anything alone. Ugh. Yeah, imagine rooting around looking for parts all the time. Hey, I make intelligent use of free resources. That's how come we're still alive to bitch about it. This is bullshit! They were waiting for us. They know what we're doing. What the hell? You mean we're stuck? Uh, yeah. Unless you can pull something out of your ass big enough to connect two Transformers. Oh, 
this is just wrong. I'm coughing up blood that ain't mine. <coughs> you remember James? Yeah, I remember him being a lot smaller. <laughs> Everyone's small next to you, Uncle Cole. Uncle Cole? Excuse me, what? Didn't I give you enough toys when you were a kid? Oh, I've seen enough of your toys to last a lifetime. Thanks. His toys? Kate, Dell, meet Damon Baird, CEO of DB Industries, whose bots have been trying to kill us for the last 20 hours. Hey, whoa, whoa. The whole killer DB thing? Jin did that, not me. Well, they've still got your initials on them. Let me know if any of this sounds familiar. You go AWOL from the COG, oh, about six months ago, and somehow no one arrests you. Or, or even more recently, there you are, stuck in Settlement 5, and just magically, a bot transport car pulls up and tells you to get in. Oh, seriously, Dad? You, you had this asshole watching out for me? I think the word you might be looking for is thank you. Never seen the locust run like this. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot during your asses! You are pissed today. Damn right. I missed my family. I'll kill every one of these bastards. What'd you find? I... Tell me, Anya. Don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned? She fits the description, but... Well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's gotta be another lead, or... Or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I've lost her again! Ah! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta out. Delta, to the grind lips. Let's go, two by two. Yo, Marcus. Yeah? If something happens to me, promise me you'll look for Maria. You got it, Dom. No problem. We have visual. We're out of here. Man, I beat my guts out of those things every time. I guess you're sitting next to Marcus then. Man, if Cole used to puke on a raven, he must be tagging the walls with Chuke right now. So what? We'll use this instead. I'll use it to smash your teeth in. How about that? Shut up and look at it. Wait, Marcus. The old guy said we had to branch off the highway at the dam. Look. Stick to the mission. We have no idea if Maria's down here, and every- I need to know. You don't have to go with me, all right? Damn it. That's just gonna get us both killed. We need to get into the stronghold and activate the beacon. This is it, Dom. This is everything we've been fighting for. Yeah? Well, Maria's everything I've been fighting for. She's my fucking wife, all right? So you're gonna turn your back on your whole world, then? The other gears we fought with? All the people who've died. I'm sorry, Marcus. After what you did for your father, I thought you'd understand. But if you want to go in guns blazing, I don't blame you. I want to kill them all. That was satisfying. I expect you to give me 110%, Phoenix. I'm not doing this for you. <laughs> Cease fire! Dipshit. We need to get off this thing, man. You're preaching to the choir. Go, walk away! Duck and cover, Delta! Drop me tickers! What the hell's he thinking? Run! Hey, I'd like you to join them with the irony of Crumb on Glowy Island. Yeah, fucking hilarious! You're gonna blow up the whole ship, genius! Get clear! Jump! Where's that chat you promised me? Where's my goddamn father? You took a big risk coming here. Look, all we want is fuel, and then we'll go. Is this Griffin willing to trade? 
Well, lady, he might want to do business with you. Just take us to see him, little man. Now. Welcome home, James. How'd you know we were here? Huh. That's new. Not that new. Dad, we need your help. I'm all done helping you. But this time I'm not running from the cog. Dell, you win this too? Waist deep. <sighs> you were supposed to keep him out of trouble. Now you know that's not possible. <sighs> I'd introduce myself, but you'll be leaving soon. Jenny's show him. Show me what? Our village was attacked. And my mother was taken. Taken? Along with all our friends. Dad, you should look at this. No, you look. I warned you not to join the COG. What did you do? Dad. I told you, don't go outside here. The COG will hunt you down again. What did you do? Just shut up and look. Shit. All right. Time to introduce the new cog to the old cog. And clear these bucket heads out of my house. Delta! Bad news. It didn't work. What do you mean, it didn't work? Fate has thrown us together again, huh, Marcus? Looks that way. Welcome back to Delta, Ty. Sorry about your squad. Everything happens for a reason. Call Baird. Cover that door. Carmine, Dom, guard the rear. Time! No! I told you, they're breaking people. I can hear them screaming from the docks. I can't believe they did that to Ty. He, he survives everything, doesn't he? Let's just get the hell out of here. Let's do this. Muscled queen. Not you, her. You were great. I loved your, your speech there, especially with the bitch-ass stuff. Very good. Very enlightening. Yo, what's the word? Some kind of security door we need to bypass. Bypass? You mean you're gonna blow that shit up? Exactly. It's all ready, Marcus. Just make sure you get your ass outside of the blast radius, and whatever you do, don't drop it. Gotcha. There! We lost power. No shit! That's it. No more jumps. All right? Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, baby. Let's do it again. Uh oh, I think Brad just pissed himself. <laughs> Looks like we need to scale that tower. You read my mind, Baird. You sure you can control that overgrown bladder when we grab it? <laughs> yeah, Tinker Toes, because you know bladder control ain't your strong suit. Once it happened. Once, okay? Oh, Baird. Look. That house over there. I can see us, you and me. A couple of kids, a dog. Yeah, a great big bottle of suicide pills. Well, that'll save me poisoning your dinner. Sam, let's take the catwalk. Barrett, you and Carmine take the lower deck. That's the only catwalk Sam's ever gonna be on. When this is over, bed, I'm gonna raise your voice an octave. No problem. I've killed blowy leviathans before, remember? At Vector's Dockyard. Saved your asses. You killed one. A baby. And you wrecked the harbor doing it. That one's twice the size. So what's your plan? Nag it to death? Wait a minute. You actually could. Marcus, while you were taking a break, huh, the blonde genius had an idea. You so need me. Can you lower that bitch to the front end so we can give it a headache? Animal 
animals just love me. Stand by, Cole. Uh, I suppose you want me to say I've always loved you. But I don't. I really, really don't. I think you got it, Baird. Hey, we walked away in one piece. That's what counts, right? Yeah, firing an all pistons, baby. Off and out. Tip Give a smart guy a promotion. Give it to a jackass instead. So we gotta hump this to the factory or what? Nah, screw that. I got an idea. Oh yeah? What is it, smart guy? Enough. Let's move. Hey, I think I got it. Yeah, Baird, you did. Yeah, turn them off, will ya? Huh? What? Never mind. Ah, just in time. Yeah, just in time to kiss my ass. Man, I can't believe we missed this. Call. Still got the resonator. Booted, suited, and ready to get executed. <laughs> uh huh? What the hell is it doing? Come on, stop pissing it off! How the hell are you gonna tell me what not to shoot in here? Look at this shit! Oh, that's why. I'm with Jace near the ship. I need some help with Prescott or he's not gonna make it. I heard Prescott. Tell me that's just my old head injury? Prescott? What, do we got an echo here or something? Yeah, Prescott's back. Michelson's dead, and my father's alive. Film at 11. You losing your edge? Never! I got past the DBs at Settlement 5, didn't I? Not a scratch. You were bleeding when you came back. I cut myself. Shaving. Ah. Oh. Oh. You all right? Ah, oh. yeah. Covered in this shit. Well, you're glowing now, so that's good. <laughs> What the hell are these things anyway? Bastard shit, that's what! So, who's going in first? Hey, JD. I've rock, paper, scissors you for it. Seriously? You're terrible at rock, paper, scissors. Uh, how can someone be terrible at rock, paper, scissors? Easily, because you always pick paper. Do I? Let's do it. You sure you can handle this thing? You know the kind of day we've had? You wouldn't ask. Oh, shit. Quiet. Don't move. What was that? A berserker. She can hear us. She can smell us. The entire city has been sunk right at your position. Anya, it's a giant worm. They're sinking cities with a giant worm! It's been a long time, Phoenix. I'm guessing you didn't come all this way to inquire about my health. No. We've got something for you. The key for Prescott's data disk. Well, you must think it's pretty damn urgent. Hell, I'd almost given up on the damn thing. Yeah. It contains information where Prescott's holding my father. Azura. Ring any bells with you? What in the hell do you mean, holding your father? I got a message from him. He didn't get killed after all. Prescott had him kidnapped. Dear God Almighty! And all that shit's on the disc? Well, where'd you get the key? Prescott handed it to me today. Just before he died. Well, Phoenix. I have no goddamn idea what to say. And that's a first for me. I didn't surrender this town in the last war, and I'll be damned if I'm going to abandon it to a bunch of glowy grubs now. Right, Bernie? Yeah, we're too old to run. We'll just sit on the front porch and blow the shit out of anything that moves. God damn it! Marcus was going to help us beat these things. Get my mom back. Now what the hell do we do? That, that, that thing, I, I, I can't believe it. It just, it just swallowed him. Hold. All right, stop! Oh, God.
Dad. Oh, come on, Dad. Dad! Dad! Damn it! Come on! Oh, come on! Come on! God damn it! Hey, damn it! G get up! Jitty. Dad! Stop. Get up! Good come day. on, Dad, get up! Come Jitty, on! Stop! You gotta let him go. No. He's gone. Smell bad. Oh. James. In that pod. I was in their network. Network? What network? Uh, this. This whole goddamn hive. It's all connected. All the people they've potted. I could feel them. The locust never died, James. Come on, anyone but him. Calling him in means a slight detour. A detour? What if we detoured on our way to you? Kate, I told you, your mother's... That's right, you'd probably be a puddle of goo right now. Or worse. Well, oh, come on. <laughs> There's not much worse than a puddle of goo. We're going to get her. Now. Dad. It's her mother. That burial site is twice the size of this one. You've been in her position. Did you wait for backup? took my mom. <laughs> humans to ever desecrate this palace with your presence it's her and i assure you you will most certainly be the last that's the locust queen i thought she was supposed to be put up if you're planning on flooding the hollow then i guess we would be the last yes though you destroyed the riftworm there are still ways for us to sink jacinta you will perish along with the Lambert. Not if we sink it first. <laughs> Scourge informed me of your plan to sink Jacinto before us. I'm afraid it won't work. Don't be so sure. Oh, but I am. We already have an army en route to Jacinto to prevent that from happening. Tell me, is it true? You're the son of Adam Phoenix. What's it to you? He spoke highly of you. It's a shame that you didn't follow his path. What the hell are you talking about? It no longer matters. Scourge, destroy them! So, she's still running the show. Holy shit! Look at the size of that book! Mm, I got your number, bitch. I can't believe it, Marcus. We finally found her.
Maria. Maria. Sorry, Maria. I tried to find you. God, I, I did. Please, no. Maria. God damn it, it's me, Dominic. It's Dominic. Marcus, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. She... No. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. Baby, I'm sorry I couldn't bring you home. But you're with the kids now. That's home, yeah? I'll see you all again one day. Look, Marcus is busy saving the world again, so I gotta be there for him. Sleep tight, sweetheart.
I just lost my fucking brother, all right? You hear that? My brother! You and your tower and all this fucking emulsion can go to hell! Dad, I'm sorry. I should have saved you from all this. God, I tried. Don't, Marcus, please. I'm the one who needs some forgiveness. I've cost you everything. I can see it. Oh. He's gone, Dad. Dom's gone. Marcus, I wish I could bring him back. But all I can do is make sure you all have a future. I won't fail you this time. I promise. You know, I was expecting bouquets, a band, maybe, something. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's Dom and Dizzy? Dizzy's taking the submarine offshore. Dom... Dom didn't make it. Oh, oh fuck no. Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody's gonna fucking pay! He got us this far. Let's finish it. Let's go, Dad. This tower's too unstable now. I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm not going to make it. It's okay. I'll carry you. Marcus, the emulsion developed faster in me because I forced it to. I had to find out how it reproduced. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. No. You are not going to die. It's too late, Marcus. Every cell in my body's breaking down. And this is going to happen to every contaminated cell on Seraph. It has to. No, goddammit, I can't lose you again. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Marcus. Now go and live for me. and immoral, even now. Is that what you think? Your father always thought he had all the answers. But he had none. Nothing but clever ways to kill. The Hammer of Dawn. Jacinta. And now, this. And his arrow. Finally killed him. Feel that. That's from Dom. And everyone else you killed, you bitch. They do not understand. They do not know why we wage this war. Why we cannot stop. Will not stop. Why we will fight and fight and fight. Until we win. Or we die. And we are not dead yet.